twine now that's been crossed over I'm going to take my left hand here and hold the standing end and half the bite and take my right hand here and hold the bitter end and half the bite I'm going to twist that <coughs> into a figure eight and then fold it over on itself and then what you end up with is the complete constrictor knot so again from the top starting with the bitter end coming over to the standing end open that bite up nice and wide take the standing end and half the bite the bitter end and half the bite and twist them into a figure eight and then fold them over on themselves and that is the completed constrictor knot and as you can see once you bring it up under tension it holds and I can I can tighten that up until the uh, until the twine has to be cut in order to remove it now okay onto the onto the marlin spike hitch this is one that is ill described in most publications with the exception of one and this video is a tribute to the work of that man the late Brian Toss the world suffered a very very great loss in the art of rigging um, from the passing of Mr. Toss and Hervey Garrett Smith um, despite his good work made a very poor effort to describe this Marlin spike hitch by saying something to the effect of it is little more than an overhand knot with a bite in it and, and that requires a little description and nothing could be further from the truth and the reason I say this is because there are two ways that you can do this depending on how you think and if you take if you take an an approach of, uh, of a person who thinks of one side of their brain, say, whether it be the left or the right. Um, you can tie this in correctly. So there's, here's your overhand knot with a bite in it, right? Great. So you pull that loop through, insert your Marlin spike hitch, and that's just dandy what you have is effectively the Merlin spike hitch. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. The problem is if you don't remember to take the right side and bring it over to the left and take the bitter end and put it up through and you make the mistake of putting the left side over the right and then putting the standing end up through. What you'll end up with is when you when you tighten up on this, you can see that it it tightens down and jams on itself. And you'll have to um, cut the twine in order to remove that. Now, if you can remember, if you can remember starboard over port bitter through the bite you'll tie that correctly every time and you won't have you won't have this issue if you can remember that starboard over port and bitter through the bite or you can do what Brian Toss recommends which is even better and so for that I'm going to go ahead and pause this and try to get a better camera angle here holding this with help myself. <laughs> 